good morning. Out there you can see the our yellow Jeep. And uh, we are here back, I um, can't think of the name of the lake right now, but we're on the hiking trail back here. And uh, early morning hike, we like to do those sometimes before we go to the office, before we have breakfast in the morning. It's supposed to be a nice sunny day today, but it's really cold right now. It uh, was 16 degrees this morning, Fahrenheit, when we woke up. And so it's a chilly morning. That's why I have some warm clothes on. Um, <clears throat> but I want to answer a question. Will white men start a war if Kamala is selected? <laughs> you can see by the name of the video here. Um, well, the media would like to have you think that, that uh, white men are just so hateful and so mean and arrogant, whatever else, we're just itching to start a civil war here in America. Well, speaking as a white man, pure European, I am not uh, anything else. Uh, there's no other ancestry for me. Um, DNA test have, has proved that. My older, older sister had one and 100% European. German, Swiss, and Scottish Highlander is uh, my ancestry. Um, but anyhow, getting back to what I was saying, I qualify as a white man to speak about this issue, in other words. Uh, the media is trying to push this narrative that the white men are a threat. You know, white, white nationalism and white Christian patriots and all this other stuff. That we're this deadly threat and that we're just, we're just itching for trouble. Um, you know, let me answer the question. Are we going to start a civil war or start some kind of riot or whatever else? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, reason, main reason being, um, who would we attack? Oh, uh, find out that uh, Kamala gets put in uh, as president of the United States. What am I going to do? Go down to town and and uh, try to burn down the grocery store or the hardware store or attack people who have a Kamala Harris sign in their yard or something. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. We're not going to wage war against something that, you know, I mean, who do we fight? How do we turn things back? We're going to start going and burning stuff down so that we can get our way? Uh, no, we don't do that. Mentally sick people do that. All right. <laughs> um, so... But see, the media, why are they doing that? It's called divide and conquer. There are people that are involved in the media that want people to fight with each other. They're anxious for that to happen. They, uh, they hate America, and they actually hate white people, and so they're trying to make it look like we're going to go out and make all these problems. I remember after the uh, whole... Trump assassination little funny thing there that they did the ridiculous nonsense that it was Thomas Crooks oh yeah he's trying to assassinate Trump and he shot through his ear amazing yeah amazing that anybody believes that nonsense but um oh this guy came out this uh we call them papal Juden Jews that serve the Pope and uh Roman Catholic Jews in other words which is a clear violation of scripture, but uh, that's another issue. But this guy, Alex Stein, came out. Uh, it's one of the people who likes to divide and, um, you know, spends his time going around trying to make the left mad and <clears throat> get the right all angry and everything else. And he was, you know, one of the first commentaries I saw on the whole thing. They were, I was watching some of the early reports and, and they said, you know, we're going, going to go now to Alex Stein and what do you think about this? And he said, it was a half hour or half inch away from civil war in America. If that Thomas Crooks would have actually shot Trump in the head, we would have had a civil war. How? Why? Uh, <clears throat> you know, and the whole stupid nonsense, that propaganda piece that they did there, 
chanting USA, USA. Uh, like we were attacked by another country or something. We weren't attacked by another country. It was some uh, little kid that was stupid and fell for some government goonie stuff and they, you know, shot him in the head as a result. What a joke. Terrible tragedy. But um, <clears throat> the uh, goonies that run this country, they like to use uh, useful idiots, patsies like Lee Harvey Oswald, to do some kind of stupid things so that they can impose greater control over the people. And that's what's going on. They want to create division so that they can get American people to hate each other. Problem is, we don't hate each other. Um, <laughs> it's just absurd. But you have to watch out for these, uh, what I call papal Uden, mingled papal Uden, because they, um, and again, I'm, there's no hatred behind that. It's just me stating a fact. And they're, uh, they're trying to do things to tick white people off so that then they can crack down on white people. Just the way that it is. Uh, and, you know, why is that? Well, if you study it, um, they, um, there are certain people within the sects of the Jewish system that hate white people. They call us dogs. And, um, you know, I mean, it's one thing to be separate, but when you're saying that you're superior somehow, well, that's racism. I believe in segregation uh, in terms of uh, purity and preserving culture. Uh, I'll certainly talk to anybody of any race. I don't care. Uh, fellowship with them and, and whatnot. That's not the issue. The issue is I want to preserve my, my uh, distinctions of my ancestry. Uh, not because I hate other people, but because I love my own ancestry. Um, so, but these other people, um, you know, the, the Jewish teaching there uh, that some of them fall for, some of them believe, um, they're into this thing of uh, other people are dogs. They're, the Gentiles are dogs. They're goyim. And they need to be basically pushed into wars so that they will kill each other. And see, that's what this whole selection thing is about. Both candidates, Trump and Harris, are both uh, tied to this whole um, mingled papal Uden system, which the Bible identifies as the synagogue of Satan. They would say that they are Jews and are not. That's what's going on there. So, Again, you know, this uh, subject calls for some rather harsh things for me to say. I have to. I don't have a choice. Um, and another point I want to make here. We didn't fight Obama when he was put in. And he was a mingled man. Half black, half white, or whatever else. Did uh, conservative people rise up and burn down buildings and destroy infrastructure and go kill people that uh, were for Obama? No. Uh, we didn't do that. Why would we do it this time? Oh, because it's a woman this time. So what? I don't care. I'll get back to that here in a little bit. But, um... <clears throat> you know, the, the whole divide and conquer strategy. That's what you have to realize that this is. And uh, they have been doing this for many centuries. Um, getting white nations to fight each other. Civil War was one of the most tragic wars here in America. Over 600,000 men died. How tragic and why? Oh, because of a bunch of stupid nonsense. That... Uh, some agitation type of stuff that was trumped up and whatever. Use the word Trump. But, um, you know, I did a video pro proving the fact that uh, the North, the Bank of New York, 
was financing both sides of the Civil War. Hmm. The head of the Bank of New York during the Civil War was a Southern man who had Southern plantations and lots of money down South. And he was working with the Bank of New York up North and giving money to the Union. <laughs> so, and see it's creating a problem because their system is being found out now because we can share so much through the internet. And so now a lot of their deceptions are starting to fall through. And people are starting to wake up and say, hey, you know what? I'm not going to go along with this. Uh, I don't look at uh, black Americans with hatred. Um, you're in this country and you're abiding by the laws of this country and you want to just be left alone and go to your job and work and provide for your family and go to the beach or you know do whatever you want I don't have a problem with that people want to come into this country and they want to become citizens you know I mean we were growing up we had people of different races over all the time <laughs> uh, dealing with missionaries and things that the that would come to the church building that I grew up in. We had all kinds of different people in our homes. Uh, I had black people in our home, you know, eating meals with us and, and things, and Spanish people. People have this funny notion, oh, you're pure European, you're a pure white man, so you hate all other races. Such a stupid bunch of propaganda. That's not true. Um, I mean, literally, growing up, like I said, uh, multiple different people of other races and nations and things coming in and had a good time. Had a great time with them. Didn't want to marry, you know, them. Um, but uh, had a good time with them. But let me do the final point of this, make a final point here in this little rant of mine. Um... What if Kamala Harris is selected? What if she's put in? What do we do then? Oh no, what would we do? Very simple. Um, become independent. See, that's what they really are afraid of. They don't want us to be independent. And right now, the more corruption these people bring out, the more the American people realize, you know what? We don't actually need them. Hmm. You know something, I don't really care to watch news media that's obviously propaganda. I don't really care to see that. Um, I don't need to be trained to hate people. And you know, oh, if Trump had been shot, we'd have, we'd have had a civil war. How? It's not even logical, it doesn't even make any sense. I run out in the street and start gunning people down because Trump got shot? No. That's stupid. But see, um, if we continue to listen to these devils, uh, because that's ultimately what they are, devil possessed people, and devils can possess any race or whatever else too, so don't be confused on that one either. But if we continue to listen to them, then we will be at each other's throats. I just saw that there's some movie trailer out now, Homestead, you know what it's about. Someday, you know, it's Roman Catholics again, Angel Studios, these uh, Jesuits, uh, founded by the Converso, Ignatius de Loyola, a mingled papal Juden, in other words. And, um, and they, they have this movie, oh, there's this, these bombs go off, and there's, the cities are destroyed, and the people, America break, breaks down, and they start killing one another, and, and, uh, you know, and then everything else just falls apart and, and they go out into the areas like this, you know, and, and they're homesteading then and America becomes a new nation. That's what they're working towards. They are working towards that, literally. And uh, the question is, will the American people go along with it? It's good to see the American people are resisting <clears throat> this satanic agenda. Um, Enlistment into the military is way down because you have a lot of the young men that are looking and saying, yeah, not going into there. 
not fighting your stupid, rid ridiculous, pointless wars, uh, only to make bankers richer. No thank you, don't want anything to do with it. Um, so you have that, but then you also have a lot of the young people are just opting out of other things as well that are part of their control system. And Americans are not really hating each other as much as they want. And down there in the South, the government, FEMA and everything, they're not there for the people. And, <clears throat> and so what are, what's happening? Well, the people are starting to work together. Huh. Starting to come together and, and actually help each other. Imagine that. I wonder what would happen if Kamala Harris would be elected, selected. Maybe it would actually bring people together and people would start to say, the government's so corrupt right now. I mean, you know, we're not even given chances or real choices, I should say. Um, the best we were given for this selection here, 2024 election, <laughs> is Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. Why? Because they're both divisive. Somebody's there making these decisions. And the Bible says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and things in Ephesians chapter 6. See, <clears throat> the devil, he wants to divide. And he will use the most divisive people out there for his system. So, sun's coming up here. If you can see back behind me there on the lake. Sunlight's starting to come up, looking pretty good. But um, I'll finish this video now. I have other ones to do, so. But uh, don't let them divide us. We have to fight that. And all this anti-white propaganda. Understand who it's coming from, okay? Uh, it's coming from Satan, ultimately. Oops, Getting off the trail here. So. Don't fall for it, brethren. And if you're not saved out there, you don't fall for it either. I don't hate anybody. All right. So that will be it. Thank you for watching.